What do you want from me? <sighs> want from you? Roland, come on. John. Well, now that you mention it, I need a huge favor. You know, for what it's worth, I, I hate even having to ask here. I mean, because you have been a champion through this whole ordeal here, and Doc and I, we, we couldn't have had a better friend on board. I was glad to help. And, and thank you, we really appreciate that. But now we're, we are really in a bind. Patty. Yeah, she, um, she's refusing to go back to prison. She had to know this wasn't gonna last forever. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Yeah. And now, it appears to me that you might be the only one who can solve this problem. What exactly do you want me to do? All right, it's kind of like this. You're the only one who can get through to Hattie because you are the love of her life. So I need you to pretend that you are interested in her and really woo her. I mean, I want you to woo her so badly that she will go right back to prison and give up the sham of a marriage to me. Wait, you want me to woo her? Yeah. What I'm asking you to do, no, what I'm begging you to do is take my wife. Please take my wife. Get this straight here. You want me to pretend I've fallen for Hattie, convince her to divorce you, go back to prison. Mm, yeah. Sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? But she'll do it for you. I don't think so. I have rejected her way too many times. Oh, man, when she busted out of the hospital, where did she go? She came straight to you. And why John, is that? Because she's got a thing for you. John, don't you think it might seem a little fishy? After all this time, suddenly I return her feeling. No! You are Roman Brady. Come on, man. I got faith in you. We'll figure a way to pull this off. John, I want to help you. I really do, but my kids, I mean, they are dealing with a lot right now. The fire in Nashville, Sammy thinks she might have found EJ and Harry. I know, I know, I heard all about Nicole. Yeah, and on top of that, Rex is back in town. I haven't seen him for a long it's time. Cool. I understand. I, the thing I want to do is take you away from your kids. I get that. It's, you know, Doc, she, uh, she wants to be there for Eric and Sammy, too. You know, and then... And, Brady and Paul, they're going through their own issues right now. I'd love to help them, but hell, I'm so tied up with Hattie. You are playing so dirty, you know that. Yeah, I know that, but I'm out of options, man. Come on, can you help me here? This Hattie, she is a ticking time bomb. She's gonna blow at any moment. Got to be some other way to get Hattie to listen to reason besides me wooing her. I wish there were, buddy. I don't see it. And we try to force her to go back to prison. She's gonna blow the whistle on you, me, and Kayla. I try to wrangle her into an annulment. You know, she's gonna fight me. It's gonna drag on for years. And all I want to do is tie the knot with Doc right now. You don't think you guys have been married enough already? Hey, I know. You know after all these years together, it's it's basically a symbolic gesture. But you want to know something that's important to me. It just. Having that ring on my finger just represents commitment, devotion, my love to Doc. I just want to start our life together right now, and I can't do that when Hattie's still in the picture. John, you know what you're asking here? It's beyond the call of duty. I know. And it's worth way a hell of a lot more than an Ernie Banks baseball card. I know. All right? I know. Okay? But, all right. To do it? Yes, I will romance Hattie so you and Marlena can live happily ever after. All right, all right, all right, all right. You rule, man. Listen, listen, hopefully this won't go on for, for very long here. And because I know it's not going to be a barrel of laughs for you, Doc and I, we're going to owe you big time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sure as hell will. <laughs>